My dude, sorry about that. Getting situated and comfortable. It's my mom's house. Man, long trip on the road. Long, pleasant trip with the 10 year old and the dog. So, definitely something different. And. Wow, this Glenfiddich is amazing. Got a really good nose on it too, but but yeah, it's, it's definitely an experience traveling with your 10 year old and dog and obviously showing or seeing the country and I uh, learned a few things and I uh, went from Montana to here to Maryland. So very happy to make it in one piece. Let me turn on a little light here. Let's see if this helps. Let's see, unless it doesn't work anymore. Maybe it doesn't work. Nope. No extra light. Well, all right. Sorry, fellas. We're a little out of sorts because... Pop, you want a cupcake? Yeah, I want a cupcake. Please. All right. I feel better now because we got a cupcake coming. Cupcakes. Like I was saying, it was definitely a little Debbie cupcake. But definitely something, you know, traveling with your 10-year-old and your dog and learning some lessons and... That's funny, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk about the experience of the car. Is that okay? So we stop, uh, you go to the bathroom. So stop, we stop in, uh, in, uh, on a reservation in Montana and a couple of things, you know, I was shopping and, uh, somehow the conversation led to something about dot, 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 African American. And, uh, and I've been pretty sincere and, and pretty quick to say, uh, you know, I, I don't believe I'm African-American. I believe I'm black, black American. And uh, so uh, this fella, I, I didn't want to correct him. I just wanted to let him know, like, hey, I appreciate that, but I'm actually black, you know, and, and uh, he was Native American or is Native American. And so I asked him, I was like, so are you Native American or are you Indian? And he's like, I'm an Indian. So kind of a weird one, and, and it was kind of uh, relieving at the same time. But so there was a huge enlightenment on race there. But perfect timing. So the other side of this card was so it was nice because I, 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 I my mom's been in Africa, but I, I know my grandma was definitely born in states, and her mother I believe as well because she's fully Cherokee. But uh, I just thought that was a life lesson there, and uh, and Abby wasn't present for that, but. There was another lesson where she wasn't quite present. So I went to a auto parts store. I was on a res and uh, just, you know, stoked to be there and, and get out and shopping and everything. And I was making conversation with the the, uh, the guy there and he was, uh, he was letting me know, uh, he was relating uh, and he had, I had mentioned I have a mixed daughter and he said, oh yeah, you know, I was in the military in Atlanta. We, we call that mulatto. And I was like, ah, yeah, you know, definitely familiar word and I know there's a little tinge of something to it and uh so I shared that with Abby when I got to the car and uh she didn't look so happy when I said mulatto and uh and asked her why and, and why aren't you so happy? I wasn't totally like it like we could have said it in a nicer way. In a nicer way? I, I know he was ignorant but No you don't know he was ignorant. Well, you I told you that's just a, unfortunate, it's an ignorance thing. He wasn't trying to say it to be demeaning. It's the way he knew to relate. So, later on, you know, after I shared the story with her and saw her, uh, saw her reaction and we Googled it and we found out that, that it, is, it said offensive dated. The, it says mulatto, offensive and dated. That means it's an offensive word now and it's dated, outdated. So, um... We Googled it, and it, it stems from the Latin word, uh, root word of mule. And if you guys don't know, a mule is a horse and a donkey mixed. And so I wanted her to feel better about it and said, hey, you know, a, a mule is the best of these hooved animals, if you ask me. Because um, you only really ride a horse, and you only really pack on a mule. But a donkey, or excuse me, uh, only pack on a donkey, but a mule... <laughs> can do it all. And a mule is a very individualistic animal, unlike the rest. So, um, you're an individual. Okay. And I think she understands that ignorance, oh man, cupcake, is just, uh, just part of it. You know, it's just, it's, it's, 
Ignorance is not to be shamed. So what I'm getting at is after seeing her tear up, thank heaven I had her seat. I called that store and I asked for the dude and I got him on the phone and I said, hey, you and I just both learned that. I want to share something with you that I learned that maybe you weren't aware of, but sounds like that word is now dated and offensive. So there's other words we can use and uh, hopefully, you know, you're not offended by me letting you in on it. And uh, it didn't seem like he was. He was like, oh, unaware. Um, so again, just weird, just life lessons on the road. But we, and I went so far into that, sorry, five minutes of talking about that. And hopefully you humans already know what's good, what's not. Um, and from there, but we did learn a couple things too when we're hunting. Abby, you should get, go grab what you got. Yeah, yeah, grab, yeah, grab your stuff. We learned a couple things. First, we, uh, you know, I go hot wheeling. Abby's, she found Pokemon. So, went Pokemon hunting and, um, she got a couple packs and she opens this one pack. And, uh, she says, she says, Pop, look at this. And what she pulled out was this. You want to take it out? She pulled out this card, and this is genius on Pokemon's part. So I guess what the scalpers or resellers do in the Pokemon community are they weigh the packs to see if there is an extra card in there or not. And so it's usually the rare card is the extra card. Usually the rare card is the or extra card. Or they just card. stick it. So what they did was Pokemon decided to add a marker in the card. Just basically a card to throw the scalpers off. So there is nothing on this card except for V-Star. And it works in a couple ways. It just, it's that placeholder. So the scalpers who weigh it can be fooled, essentially. As well as when you find them in packs, it should have a V-Star behind it. Or let you know there might be a V-Max behind it. V-Star. V-Star. But, but in this case, there wasn't. So it is just a placeholder in that case. But genius on them. And they actually just did this. So yeah. I pretty much got a first edition. One of the first edition. Pretty much, hopefully. Uh, we're, we're not sure. We're not sure. It's the first one you bought. They only we, do this in America, not Japan. Yeah. Or so. Maybe not. Maybe, well, maybe. Maybe so. everywhere except for Japan right now. <laughs> so in Japan, these aren't in the pack. So really cool. So if you guys have one of these, there may be value to it. Maybe not. Not trying to start that whole fight. But what I'm really excited about is what Abby did buy as far as Hot Wheels go. Can I show them? Abby saw Scenic out of Target. Um, where was this Target? I think we're in. It's where we met that dude. Ron Peterson. Hey, Ron, if you're watching, very nice meeting you, man. You're yeah, a you wealth were really of, nice. I really nice. You. Wealth of knowledge, dude. And I'd love to see your collection. And this guy went from 14,000 cars down to 1,000 because of this reseller market and the frustrations there. But, man, this Scenic out of package, guys, so cool. I mean, just so cool. Everything is just details are there. Obviously, there's a little holder for the hauler. And there's a little anchor on the front of the car. Sorry, guys. The light here is, uh, is a little tough because we're in a bar. But super cool piece. Abby was not leaving without this car. And obviously, she needed like to open color. it. I know. It's such a bright color. The cool thing I like about it, um, I actually just figured this out. There's these little studs right here. And they're the same length as your tire. So you just slip the car in and put the tires behind it. And it automatically stays. Nice. I wonder if these things, I bet it goes out of track really rad. Most radical. I'm really like sure it. Say those are orange. Yeah, in the picture they are orange, but I think that's just that make the card more attractive. But nice haul, Ab. Nice haul. Oh, cupcake. That's where it all started. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, um, you shouldn't be behind a bar. I'm a bad dad. I'm bad going to go see Brad. Goodbye. I love you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Yep. Learning. I'm learning how to be a dad just as much as she's learning how to be a kid. So, sorry for that, not jibber jabber, but I consider that to be very serious. And, and I'm going to not get drunk before the show's over. But these are hella cool. It doesn't fall over, it just, just tilts. Have a bite of this, guys. And, Show you what I hauled off on the trip from uh, from there to here. Taste more. 
more fake than I remember. Stick to the real stuff. Hmm. So yeah, y'all, we did some stops, man. And uh, Dollar General, Targets, Walmarts, uh, Kroger's. Um, what else? Walgreens, AutoZones, O'Reilly's. We've been hitting them up, you know. And I've been, I've gone to some bigger, the bigger cities, and went into their Walmarts and Targets. And man, that shit looked like a war zone or like full-on famine hit. So. That empty pegs thing that you, some of you guys were telling me about, I get it. And holy jeez, it's heartbreaking. So I, I, I really, I applaud you guys for staying the course and being resolute and still being collectors because it's got to be disheartening when you come across those kind of pegs often, you know. But, um, you know, and with that, you know, now I understand why, you know, folks ask me to help them out if I can or do and I feel a little different about it because I feel like, oh man, I might be emptying the pegs when I'm shopping, helping my friends. But at the same time, I know that they have empty pegs in front of them. So am I the bad guy, the good guy? I don't know. But what I am is the guy to help my friend, Aaron, old Mr. Aaron, needed this for his collection. So got him the old two pack, the moon eyes. So it's nice to have that. So Aaron, Aaron, it's for you, my G. Let's see, what else did we get? Man, had to get one of these because I opened mine immediately. Not that I regretted it, but I knew I loved it so much I needed one on card. So I got the shell pickup, 65 Ford uh, C900, excuse me. EK9's in yellow. I just love it because it's so odd looking as far as the yellow card goes. Um, and the paint on these things are Whatever the primer is under it, you can see it, but they did so good on these in this real design. They finished the headlights and the tail lights and, you know, just really, really went all the way, all the way, um, they did all, put all the work in to make it a complete looking car. Um, I didn't buy this. This is for Tank. Tank, I got your truck with me. I'm going to be shipping it from here, my G. Sorry about that. It goes over there. Let's see what else. Ooh, yeah, this was something I picked up. I don't know if I got this at a Target or a Kroger, but I don't have this colorway of the Firebird. Johnny Lightning's on fire flame. Do love this, man. And you know I love my Firebirds. That Ron Peterson guy was teaching me about Johnny Lightning a little more and the rarities and the, obviously the limited edition numbers. And this one is one of 94.54. So a uh, little less production and, uh, and some of the other ones have higher production numbers or lower. And, um, i.e. This is one of what? 13,800, but super cool Silverado. You know what's cooler than that? Is I found my first white lightning right after that. As I was walking away, the guy was like, oh, we got some more. And he starts pulling them on a peg and one of them was the white lightning. So. I got a white lightning Silverado. And this is for the homie Matt. Is originally why I grabbed it. But then I grabbed the Chase. So that one's for me. So there you go, Matt. You you get the basic, my G. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, got this Tesla too. Man, I love these. These are epic. They they just look amazing. They look tough. Look fast. And just a cool packaging. The card art's insane too. Good job, Matchbox. Good job. So grab that for a friend as well. Sorry guys, I, I enjoy looking at the cards. I know I spend a lot of this time just looking down at the cards, but I like the cards. Let's see what else I get. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Albertsons. Albertsons. It was really cool find at Albertsons because uh, your grocers uh, have the international shippers, so I was able to find that old red Playlude. Great car. What else did I find? Lightning pickup. Extra one of those. And these truly, oh. I truly am just buying those because I know how rad they are. For the homie Nooch, even though he's a he's a Star Wars guy, but I just 
Nooch is a rad dude. I just want to give him something. And so I'm giving him a Star Trek piece. Oh. oh yeah. Got the Indy 500 oval. That was really cool too, speaking of. We stopped at Fair Oaks Milk Factory. Um, either in Indiana or Illinois or... Oh, I can't remember where. Um, and as I was... We're, we stopped and got a sandwich. We are going to do the tour, but we didn't. We stopped, got a sandwich, and came out. And I was coming out, and a guy held the door for me. And I just saw he had all these race patch liveries on his t-shirt. Him and another guy twinned out. I was like, oh, man, you guys love driving, you know, fast cars. You know, I can relate. And they were like, yeah, we work for Indy Lights. So, um, that's a, a, a lower level in the Indy race scene. And was really stoked to kind of, you know, jaw it up with him. And, um, I, I, they were in route to somewhere and everything. So, not related, but still related to that Indy 500 oval. And I just, I, I, I love fast cars. And, and Formula One and Indy cars are notoriously fast. And so are NASCAR. And... And dirt car, all the car. If you're racing, hopefully speed is part of it. Also found a treasure hunt on the front peg at that Albertsons, unrelated, but I'm grabbing them. And in the same Albertsons, there was two kids digging in a bin, and their dad was behind, and uh, the kid was just grabbing cars and everything. And I had I had to enlighten the kid. And, you know, they're probably like nine eight or nine, but I enlightened them. I was like, hey, you guys know what Treasure Hunt is? And the reason was because in that same bin, there was a pixel shaker on the top. Showed him that. He was already had a bunch of cars in his hand. We did our shopping as we got to the checkout counter. And the only car he had was that pixel shaker. So we got another new hunter, guys. And uh, he's probably going to empty your pegs when he's able to drive. But he was really stoked. His dad was super excited that I enlightened him on it and let him know, hey, man, this isn't you know going to be your retirement check or anything, but there's some value to these. And he was really appreciative and stoked, so blah, blah, blah. But what I was stoked about is I was able to find 427 Cobra. And if you guys know or don't know, but a couple of these were painted in the, um, the uh, uh, Spectra Flame paint. And I have a Spectra Flame version. I also have the uh, Super Treasure Hunt. But I opened the basic one. So I needed to have another one on card so I could kind of complete that little trilogy. But so this is the basic one without the Spectre Flame paint. Still just as beautiful as the other two. That was cool. Sorry. Let's have a drink for that plastic that we're hopefully gonna recycle. Um, what else did we get? Got Pixel Shaker. I was talking about. At Albertsons. Um, or no, this was on the front peg. Yeah, this was at another Albertsons, but on the front peg. Obviously, I didn't take it from that kid. Got a pixel shaker. Walmart. This was something different, too. I went to Walmart. Saw some cool stuff. Now, my lady friend's nephew loves fire trucks. I took him the five pack and everything, but wanted to get this for him because it's just... Something that wasn't in the fire pack, and it's really cool looking, but the MBX Fire Dasher. Really cool. Looks like a fire truck for, like, the mountains. For the woods. And... I also grabbed this one. Fresh. Saw this thing on a front peg, too, but the Opal Cadet. Rad car. That paint is epic. Hell, I'm psyched. Took a lot of stops to find cars I was psyched in, but at that same Walmart, more plastic, more plastic, more plastic. I was lucky enough to spot this car. Spotted this and I was really bummed because so I was like, dude, not another FNF charger. Here we go again. And I flipped it over just to realize that there was a 77 Pontiac Firebird there. So I scrambled through the pegs, man. Found it. The TA Firebird. So another set of FNF. Oh lord, here we go. But it's cool because that's uh this is um the Brazil one. Was it Tago? Tagos? Tagos one. This is Tagos car. So Tagos car. 
So that's set there. Follow it up with the uh, Buick Regal, or excuse me, uh, yeah, uh, 87 Buick Regal, the GNX. Uh, I hated buying this again because I have one already, but the 70 Chevy Nova. And another Ford Lightning. Super cool. Super cool. Getting loose, getting loose. Don, you got, I know you're in Ireland, Don, but I'm a Scotch whiskey single malt, but I'm sure you've enjoyed the taste of Glen Fitt. And I'm gonna just pour another one just in case. I'm not sure if I loved it. I'm gonna find out soon. What else do we get? I got more in this box. I sure do. Uh, Dollar General, I think Dollar General, or or a Dollar Tree store. Grabbed another Silverado for uh, the homie Matt. Matt's got real Silverados in his driveway. He's got like three or four, man, and they are fresh. We got those. I need an EK9 Civic. I got a couple. Can't stop. It's got, got a reuse stamp on it, man. I buy all reuse stuff. And I can't stop. But I am jazzed about this because this was at the Dollar General and uh, got that 2017 Jeep Wrangler treasure hunt. Yeah, I felt like this thing was dodging me for a while. No pun intended. But I uh, found it. So really stoked. Really excited to find a Morris Mini Cooper when that time comes, but if not, I know the homie Jeremy's got one. Thanks, Jeremy. So I'm going to lean on you if I don't find it on this trip, bro. Um, oh, empty box. Oh, not really, because I got the last piece. Man, I, I remember when I first started this show, I saw these online when I was doing a war report, and I still want to do war reports, but I want them to have more context, so I've slowed down but I was really stoked to find this outdoors and they had pretty much the whole set minus the Tahoe they didn't have the Tahoe or the and this was the only bus so um, I knew to grab this right away but this was a Kroger find Kroger's on it man I had no idea those things were or no no this was Meyer Meyer Meyer's grocery store such a cool piece. Step ladder to get into the tent. Am I gonna buy the whole set? I don't know. But if I do, it'll be before I get back to Montana because we don't have them back there and I'll have to buy it then, so. So that's the haul, y'all. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the haul. But we did some hunting today while we're here in Maryland, DC, Virginia area. And uh, they call it the DMV, District Maryland, Virginia, which is pretty clever. But um, it seems like uh, the Hot Wheel collectors are fewer and far in between here. And I've noticed that the pegs are more full in the more impoverished areas. So I ain't going to say the hood because shit, this whole world is a hood. But the more impoverished areas, I found fuller pegs in regard to Hot Wheels. But the Pokemon, white. <laughs> weird. Not weird, but just white. So... Um, was really stoked to just find whatever we find, but, uh, Abby had her heart broke a couple times and that sucks, but it sucks, it sucks to see that, that, that empty peg shame or resentment or sadness, you know, especially within your kid, but, but we overcame it because she's pretty much, she's pretty much set to buy a couple packs every day while we're on our trip, so. Hopefully she uh, she gets all the cards she needs, completes her sets, gets some rares or super rares or whatever it may be, but I'm just happy to uh, give her the opportunity to do so. So I don't know what y'all are doing. Hopefully you get, you're getting out hunting. You know, hopefully you already hunted and you found something. You know, a couple of you guys are getting those supers. Man, you get that purple Mustang. You're a G. You're a G. That's the other thing. You guys are being a lookout. Those F cases are landing. Um, I keep stumbling across the same old G&H, but, um, but happy to find some hot wheels. And don't forget those international shippers at your grocers. 
You know, those guys have some cars too, but don't seem to be as uh, awesome as, uh, you know, the big department store ones in that regard. But there's some gems in there for sure, for sure, for sure. So do your due diligence. Get out there and hunt if you're hunting for something. Otherwise, stop crying. Real talk. Stop crying. Everybody has a side hustle. Everybody. Even the wealthiest people have a side hustle. And we can't fault any man or any woman for having a side hustle. Um, it's unfortunate that their side hustle involves our inventory, but if you get out there, you do the work, you make those connections, that's the whole other thing. There's two different collectors now. They're the people who have those relationships with the store employees, and there's those people who are like me, who just make myself available to go there and open or as it's about to close because I believe those are the best times to catch restocking. I don't I don't know what the best day is, but I just know that if I have that time available and I'm not doing anything else, I'm going to go hobby. So go hobby. You know, it's going to it's going to be difficult. It's probably going to get more difficult as days go by, but you know, um I think if you do your due diligence, you put in the work, you're going to be happy. You're going to come back and come home with something. You know, Maybe it's just a couple civics or maybe it's this gym. I don't know, man. I don't know, but I want everyone to come home happy. You know, I don't want you just buying shit when the pegs are empty. Like the lasers and the little candy car and all the things Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels makes a fishing pole. There's a, a kite, a laser, fishing pole. What else would we find? Keychain. Found so many things branded Hot Wheel that weren't die cast and that shows that their their business is growing and they've created this ceiling, but um you know, they've limited their business somewhat and that's probably why they're on the market for sale. They need another creative party to kinda of come in and toss some new ideas to keep them uh, fresh. But I wish they would implore something like that whole V-Star card, you know? I mean, my heart will be broken, you know, getting those uh, placeholders, but I'll be happy knowing that, you know, that you, you, you gotta put in the work to get your supers or your treasure hunts, and that's okay, man, because it's not a treasure hunt if you just find it, you know? You gotta put some effort in to get to work. Let's work. Shit, I'm on vacation. Y'all be cool.